Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to continue our study of relationships by studying some relationships in some existing databases. And the easiest way to do that is, is to use the access templates. My favorite, of course, is the Northwind Traders database. It's kind of the Rosetta Stone for access developers because it's been around for so long, basically since Access 2.0 and it demonstrates almost everything that Access can do. So if you're going to study Access, use the Northwind Traders database. But you may have noticed there are several other templates available as well. And the templates that we've explored recently are at the top. When I click File New, I can search for them, or I can go through these different categories and find different types of templates. And I can start a database with one of these templates. Now, I've never had a client start their own database using one of these templates. However, they are helpful to see how other people have done things. Let's try vehicle maintenance. And as soon as you do that, you have to give it a name because, of course, we have to save our database locally before we can save data to it. I'm going to name it vehicle and put it in the documents folder and click create. And let's see what we've got. So Access provides this template. I'm going to have to enable content in order for it to work. The navigation pane has been hidden. I'm going to open that up and look at my object types. So I only have two tables in this database. So the relationships are going to be pretty simple. I've got expenses and I've got vehicles. So I can pretty much predict that one vehicle is going to have many expenses. And let's see if that's correct using the relationship screen. And in this case, it's showing a lot of the system tables. Really, the system tables should be hidden. Uh, these are interesting tables. They start with M, SIS, but you don't need them in the relationship screen because you're not going to change them. Access controls them. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete them out of the relationship screen and save. And then look at this one here expenses and vehicles. And I do not see the one in infinity signs. I see a relationship between the ID field and vehicles and the vehicle field and expenses. And we know that the one side of the relationship is always the primary key for that table. And it links to the foreign key field of the many table. And so I like to position my tables with the one table on the left and the many table on the right, because we speak of one to many relationships Rarely do we say many to one relationships. I'm also going to double click that link line and see if we can enforce referential integrity. The relationship type tells us it is a one to many relationship, but referential integrity was not enforced. It says that we're using the ID field, which is the primary key field in the vehicles table, to link to the vehicle field in the expenses table. And I'm going to click OK. And it allowed me to enforce referential integrity, which is a good thing. It means that I probably do not have existing orphan records. Most of these templates do not have any data in them, but let's just look just in case vehicles, no data, expenses, no data. So that's why I was allowed to go ahead and enforce referential integrity. So this makes perfect sense. Two tables, one to many relationship. Thank you.